Hello beautiful people, welcome to the channel's very first viewer's choice video. My name is Chu and today we're going to be going over three VSTs that I consider excellent options to use when making trap melodies and samples. And I promise Sakura will not be on this list. That's low hanging fruit to me. Shout out to the comment winner, comment below for a chance to be featured in the next video. The winner of the t-shirt bundle giveaway from this video will be announced in next week's episode. In the meantime, I'm giving away a bunch of free wristband bundles. All you have to do to enter to win one is comment below on where you'd wear and or put your wristband besides your wrist. Don't be gross. Shout out to everyone who's bought a bundle so far. There have been a few shipping issues and I greatly appreciate your patience. I love you all so much. Be sure to like this video if you learn something new or simply end up enjoying it. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to join a family of producers who enjoy really good content. Okay, um, number three. DX7, or I think that's how you say it, Dext, D, Dext? This plugin is like the alpha and omega of free soft synths. This thing is just insane. DX7 is modeled after the Yamaha DX7, which was a groundbreaking hardware synth that came out around the 1980s. It uses frequency modulation or FM synthesis to create unique sounds that you literally can't find anywhere else. FM synthesis is when one sound, the carrier frequency, is altered by a series of subsequent modulators. For our melody, I will be using a MIDI loop from the new Candy Keys MIDI pack I made in collaboration with Larry O. He is one of my favorite producer content creators, so getting a chance to make something like this for you guys and gals with him was really special for me. Check out the pack if you're interested. There's a link in the description and it's 100% free to download. So I'll drag in a MIDI loop to start. I'll cycle through some of DX7's awesome presets to find something that sounds good. And I'll use a trick I've recently picked up to make my chords sound more interesting. Here, I'll show you. It's called chord voicing and it's a technique where you take a traditional chord and mess it up by moving some of the notes up or down an octave. I have also seen this be called chord inversion, and after some research, I'm truly unable to decipher the difference between the two. So if there's any music theory geniuses out there with an explanation, please help. But Shu, aren't you gonna tell us how you learned about chord voicing, chord inversions in a super convenient place where we can learn about both while learning to play an instrument? Uh, tch, what? Why, of course, young Padawan. <clears throat> Melodics. It's Melodics. This episode is sponsored by Melodics. Melodics is a desktop application that teaches you music theory and keyboard techniques. The only thing that you need to get started is a MIDI keyboard controller. There are lessons and courses in genres spanning from hip hop to classical and like literally everything in betwixt. These courses are designed to teach you the basics while testing your skills and progress through fun and interesting practical exercises. After each exercise, you receive detailed breakdowns on what areas you are shining on, as well as where you may need to improve, along with a few words of encouragement. This is honestly the most fun I've had learning about music in a long time, and I honestly wish Melodics had been around before my mom forced me to take all of those piano lessons. It probably would have saved us a lot of pain, time, and money. The coolest part about Melodics is that you can take everything you learn and apply it to your music production workflow. Knowing your way around a keyboard really does help in creating your own unique musical vibe, and Melodics aids tremendously with that. If you would like the app, there's a link in the description and it's free to download. Number two, Imperfection. And remember, Sakura is not on this list. Imperfection is a super simple four knob tape saturation VST. Whereas RC20 and to some extent Isotope Vinyl have many different sliders and knobs that take some learning curve to use properly, Imperfection allows you to control the FX modulation of your sample with just four knobs. There is some control sacrifice here, but this does allow you to create some pretty unique effects chains, especially if you aren't well versed and practiced in effects modulation. This knob adjusts the bit crush rate. This one controls the cutoff frequency. You can think of it as an EQ of sorts. This dirt knob controls the level of distortion. This is a particularly cool knob to me because I really like the grainy texture that the Imperfection VST is able to produce. And this last knob controls how much artificial noise you want Imperfection to produce in the output. So now you just need to adjust these knobs until your sample sounds good. Everyone has their own unique preferences for their sample effects chain, so don't get too caught up in exactly what settings I'm using. But do feel free to use them as a starting point to create your own dope vibes. Oh, 
Okay, fine. I couldn't resist. They made this shit too easy. Look, throw some Quasimodo on that bitch. Add a baseline. Yeah, I bet you didn't know Sakura was fire with the bass, did you? Compile the whole sample. Throw some hard ass drums on that shit. Man, come on. What more do you people want from me? Look, sometimes the simplest answer is the right one. Sakura makes the most authentic sounds I've ever heard from a VST, free or paid. It has an immense bank of plucks and strings that are perfect for creating contemporary trap melodies. And it's basically free, if you can get over it timing out every minute or so. But you can mitigate this by exporting your samples as an audio, like I did here. Sakura is really good, man. Go use that shit. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna let the beat rock for the outro. I'll also leave a link to the FLP for anyone who wants it. Drop a like if you learned something, share this video with a producer who could use some help making trap melodies, and don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, your FL Studio will freeze the next time you use it, you'll spill coffee on your MIDI keyboard, and your crush will call your next beat trash. I mean, probably not, but why chance it? Peace. Thank you.